This slideshow is presented by Tyler Flesky from Pittsburgh State University. In this presentation, I will discuss briefly transition metal catalyzed polyolefin synthesis. The two catalysts that will be introduced are ziegler natta catalysts and metallocene catalysts. We start our story with polyolefins. Polyolefins are compounds that include polyethylene, polypropylene, and their copolymers. The properties you can achieve for the price of polyolefins are practically uncontested among any other polymeric material. Polyolefins are rather ubiquitous as they are used in almost every application on the planet. Do you need a reusable cup? That's polypropylene. Do you need to hold items that you would buy from the store or do you need to preserve your sandwich later for lunch? That's low density polyethylene. Do you want to get your toddler a new toy? That's high density polyethylene. Do you need a new sutureless vascular connector? That's polyethylene. You get the point. Polyolefins are everywhere. In the early 20th century, however, these polyolefin materials were not readily available for industrial use. Carl Ziegler in the 1920s successfully polymerized butadiene. This sparked an interest in the scientific community. Could we polymerize po propylene? What about ethylene? In 1949, H.G. Gellert was able to oligomerize ethylene in the presence of lithium aluminum hydride as a catalyst to yield alpha olefins. Ziegler proposed triethyl aluminum hydride as a possible complexing agent to be used instead of lithium aluminum hydride for the catalyst to polymerize ethene. The new reaction between triethyl aluminum hydride and ethene has come to be referred to as the off-bar reaction. Ziegler found that the best contenders for polymerizing ethylene were zirconium and titanium in the form of zirconium tetrachloride and titanium tetrachloride in the presence of aluminum alkyls. This polymerization now could be done even at standard temperature pressure. Before, polyolefin synthesis occurred at very high temperatures and pressures. Because of the low cost of titanium and the observation that titanium tetrachloride tripled the productivity of polymerization, titanium tetrachloride took off as a primary catalyst for the polymerization of ethylene. With the new titanium catalyst, polyethylene was successfully polymerized with high molecular weights. Professor Gailo Nada showed that, that Ziegler catalysts led to stereoregular polymers. He also mentioned Ziegler catalysts for the first time in literature and in his patents. Nada was able to synthesize stereospecific polypropylene in 1954 using titanium trichloride and triethyl aluminum. The polypropylene was observed to be isotactic. The isotactic polypropylene was patented by Nada. Adjacent to both Ziegler and Nada, Phillips developed catalysts for polypropylene production, and the catalysts still account for 40 to 50 percent of global HDPE production today. Phillips catalysts involve chromium trioxide on al aluminum oxide. Although Ziegler not a catalyst gave a stereoregular polymer, the tacticity of the re resulting material was not easily tunable. Metallocene catalysts are the best thing to happen in polyolefin research since Carl Ziegler and Gailo Nada. With metallocene catalysts, the reactions also occur at standard temperature pressure, but also but offer greater regioselectivity. Ziegler Nada catalysts are known as multi-site catalysts. The complexes that form with, tri with titanium chloride and aluminum alkyl catalysts don't offer much versatility with polymer morphology. These catalysts are not soluble in solvent. This is, a pro this is problematic for industry. <coughs> Metallocene catalysts are known as single site catalysts. Metallocene catalysts are soluble and this facilitates in the removal of catalysts. All, metal all metallocene catalysts share a transition metal sandwiched between two cyclopentadienyl rings, along with methyl aluminum oxide, referred to as MAO. 
MAO is used to activate the metallocene catalyst. This allows for complexes between the metallocene and ethylene and forms a stereospecific polyolefin product. This results in morphological tunability of the resulting polymer. Uniquely arranged catalysts have achieved polymerizations of the following kinds. Alternating blocks of isotactic and syndiotactic polyalpha olefins. <clears throat> Alternating blocks of syndiotactic and atactic polyalpha olefins. Alternating blocks of polyethylene and tactic polypropylene. Alternating blocks of polyethylene and tactic polystyrene. Alternating blocks of tactic polypropylene and tactic polystyrene. Random copolymers of ethylene or propylene with styrene. <clears throat> high molecular weight hemiisotactic polyalpha olefins and high molecular weight hemisyndiotactic polyalpha olefins. And finally, living poly polyolefin reactions are also po possible with bis-salicyl aldominado titanium as a catalyst.